Internationalization is no longer a new term in higher education discourse. From the existing literatures on the meaning of IHE, opinions are largely based on the Western context. In terms of the meaning of IHE and the institutional functions, this refers to teaching, research and services at an international level. My research is trying to understand how IHE is interpreted in China and how it relates to the Western definitions. My research started with the Western definitions of IHE and found that IHE has evolved from the simply individual mobility to the institutional and national involvement. And the dominant rationale of IHE has shifted from the political to the economic due to the global impact of free market. To compare this to China, I did a case study in a Chinese university. I interviewed 23 people, including vice chancellors, deans, teachers and students about their experiences and interpretation of the meaning of IHE. During this study, I noticed Chinese IHE is driven by the academic reason rather than the economic. And international activity and mobility are considered as the central format of internationalization. The most significant finding is that internationalization is not only interpreted as the institutional function, but also in terms of the learning and self-improvement, nationalism, and as a platform to the world. These three are distinctive Chinese interpretations, which differentiate Chinese inter IHE from the West. The main reason for these differences is the existing historical cultural and social sightings. My research is significant because it shows IHE means different things in different contexts. It's like the trees on my slide. The sunshine, the soil and the water can make the trees different. We cannot expect to transplant a tree from one place to another and bear the same fruit. The same is true for the meaning of IHE. The context affects the meaning. Thank you.